Hello and welcome. In this video, I just walk you through the concept of TLM, transaction level modeling, with respect to Python version of UVM. And uh, we will see the system Verilog version of that console so that you will have the clear understanding how it is implemented in Python version of UVM. So before moving to that, just let me show you what this TLM, how it is there in the test bench architecture. <clears throat> As you can see, this is the test bench architecture on this screen of system log QV. So this test is the is the te top level component, which and the next level lower level component is the environment. And this environment has multiple agents depending upon the DUT complexity of the unit. And if it is an active agent, then it has all the essential components like sequencer, driver, and monitor. As you can see, the sequencer and driver are connected uh, with the help of this TLM transaction level modeling port and export. Similarly, as you can see, this monitor, which has the analysis port, or you can say the broadcast port. So it will broadcast this data to multiple components like the scoreboard or coverage connector. So this is the TLM. So with the help of TLM, we are transmitting a data between various transactors, various components. In case of system Verilog, pure system Verilog test bench architecture, we have to use mailboxes instead of this uh, TLM port. But here in case of UVM, we have to use TLM, transaction level modeling for that communication. So this is what the simple test bench architecture of system Verilog version of it. Now what we are going to see, we are going to see, the, we, we are uh, considering this diagram. So I have taken this diagram from Ray Salemi's post and uh, I acknowledge his work. Okay, so what we are doing in the environment, we will create this producer, which is an initiator and this consumer. So as you can see on this diagram, producer has the put code, blocking put code. Okay. Similarly, this consumer has blocking get code. Okay. And uh, for this time, we, we are considering the blocking version of this TLM. In the next video, we will try to see the non-blocking version. So in the environment, we are creating this producer and consumer. So this produce, producer produce some data and consumer uh, will consume that data. And the environment uh, connect phase, we are making the connection of this producer and consumer. And also we are creating this UVM TLM file. Okay, as you can see in the diagram, this TLM, UVM TLM 54 has put, export and get export. And in the next top level class is the test in which we are just calling a run test after creating this in view. Now, let me show you the system Verilog version of UVM for that diagram. So these two lines are mandatory. We have to include we, we have to include this micro in order to get the access of all micros, and we have to uh, import uh, this UVM package in order to access all the UVM class. And you can see this is what the simple producer does. So class producer, which is extending from UVM component, as it is a component class in the UVM based class hierarchy, we have to register with tick UVM component details factory registration micro. And here we are creating UVM blocking put code and we are parameterized with int data type here because in the producer we are creating some integer data. So hash int and we are giving the name put code over here. As it is a component class, its default constructor expecting two arguments, this producer and parent of art and this uh, parent. Then in the build phase, we are uh, locating a memory for this uh, put port. As you can see, put port is equal to new. And in the run phase, we are raising an objection and dropping an objection. And for uh, two times, we are generating uh, zero and one data. And we are just putting that into this put port. Okay. In this port, we are putting. We are generating and putting and just we are printing that data, whatever we are generating. And just in task run phase and in class producer. 
the next class is a con consumer class okay so this is same extending from uvm component and thick uvm component until factory registration mechanism and here we are making uvm blocking gate port so if you see this diagram you will find that it has consumer had this uvm blocking gate port okay and we are also parameterizing this with an int data type and we are giving the name get port over here and its default constructor also expecting two arguments now in the build phase we are just allocating a memory for this get port okay. and in the run phase we are just getting that whatever we are generating for two times so for loop we are saying and get port dot get this i whatever we are generating from that producer class or you can say the initiate class and just we are printing the data data received whatever we are receiving we are printing okay and the next level top level class in the environment in the environment we are just you know extending it from uvm environment this is the factory registration micro as it is a component class and its default constructor expecting two arguments and here we are creating the instances for producer and consumer and you can see in the environment producer and consumer so we are creating the instances for that and we are mentioning what uvm tlm5 over here this uvm tlm5 and we are parameterizing this with the type of data int and we are giving the name as 5 for okay. and in the re new constructor only we are creating uh, we are allocating a memory for this 5 for okay 5 for is equal to for this uvm tl5 and in the build phase we are creating this producer and consumer using factory script method and in the connect phase we are making a connection of that producer and consumer over here so as you can see producer instance is p dot put port as it has a put port okay dot connect to the ulm uvm tlm 5 for put export so you can see uvm uh, this 5 for instance dot put export similarly for this consumer consumer which has a get port dot connect with this fifo get export so this consumer which has a get port we are making a connection with get export of this uvm tl5 and we are just ending the class in run the next top level class is the test as uh, we are extending it from uvm test and it is also a component class in the uvm based class here its default constructor expecting to or means and just we are creating the instance of this environment with this test of the next lower level component is the test uh, sorry the environment for this test class so we are declaring the instance for that and in the build phase we are creating uh, the that environment okay. and just ending the test class and the next top level is the top module in which in the initial begin block just we are calling the run test method which is a task which uh, initiate all the phases to run from build phase to the final phase so just let me show you what uh, it will give us the output so after running this we are expecting two times it will generate some zero and one value producer and the consumer also get that same data so as you can see over here the producer data sent is zero and the consumer which is receiving the data zero okay. similarly the producer is producing data one okay. and the consumer is consu uh, is receiving the one over okay. so whatever the producer is producing the consumer is getting that okay. so this is what the system verilog version of that qv now let me show you the python version of that same thing okay the diagram is same we are considering same diagram for this also now here import py uvm we have to do, uh, do this then from this py uvm import star so it is equivalent to this import uvm package colon colon star in system very long version of uvm just we saw as just we saw earlier <coughs> and uh, as this uh, producer has the blocking put port and consumer has blocking get put blocking means we will uh, waiting uh, for the request completion and or you can say that it will block uh, if the target is not ready okay so blocking means as it is blocking 
if target is not ready meaning it's uh, working like a task okay. and if it is non blocking for example then it's working uh, will work as a function now let me show you uh, the producer class in case of python version so class producer in the parenthesis we are making ubm component it means it is extending from ubm in the build phase as it is a producer class it has this blocking put port so we in the build phase of that we are creating that put port is equal to this is the base class for that ubm put port dot create okay. so we are creating that put port and in the run phase as it is a coroutine we have to make it as a sync of def run phase just we are raising an objection dropping an objection and for five time okay 0 to 4 we are we, we are putting that 0 to 4 value in this put port and just we are printing that whatever we are putting the data whatever we are generating we and putting we are printing that so over in this uh, in this uh, you self dot log out dot info which is equivalent to take you over in for you simple okay now and remember there is no need to make it as a parameterized one in case of python version of you this put put okay as we, we as we have saw already in case of this uh, system very log version of you this producer whenever we are defining we we uh, this put port we have to make it as a parameterized with the type of data here no need to do that here there is no need to do that and directly we can create no need to uh, make is uh, make uh, initialize it directly we can create in the build phase so and no need to make it parameterized also now the next component is a consumer which has the blocking gateway so Class consumer, which is extending from UVM component, and in the build phase, same we are creating that get port, UVM get port, create port using create method, <clears throat> and in the run phase, we are just getting that. Okay, so as you can see here, yeah, get whatever uh, the producer is producing with this get in this get port, and we are. Uh, getting that in i okay. and just we are uh, printing that value of i whatever we are getting simple now the next uh, top level component is the environment so class environment which is extending from uvm environment in the build phase of that we are creating this producer consumer in this uvm tl file over using create method and then in the connect phase we are making the connection same as uh, we did in system very long version of So in the connect phase, self dot p, this p is the instance or dot uh, producer instance p. Okay, dot as we define created here, right? So this p which has the put port. Okay, as you can see, put port dot connect with this five four put export. So this five four export we are making this connection producer and producer tl five. Similarly for this consumer c, which is the instance for this consumer. Plus dot get port. It has a get port, and we are making the connection like five four dot get x get x port. So this connection consumer and this UVM TL file. And the next uh, top level class is the test class, in which just we are declaring, uh, we are creating the instance, uh, we are creating this environment class. So, so as you can see, by UVM dot test, this uh, decorator notify property with that this is the test. and class which is extending from uvm test and uh, this is the build phase in this build phase we are creating that environment and this just we are calling this uvm root dot run test and we are uh, giving the name of this test so very simple same as that system by log as well. now let me show you <clears throat> after running this code what it will show us the result so if you just make Yeah. So what we are expecting that producer produce zero to four value. Okay. As we made it as a in the for loop, we are make made it as a four. Sorry, five. Okay. So it will take zero to as it is range five zero to four. Okay. So as you can see over here, the display statements, the environment has this 
producer okay it is sending zero and the consumer c is receiving zero similarly producer is producing one receiver is receiving one and so on till this four so this producer is producing four and this consumer is receiving four so this is what the simple uh, you know explanation of uvm tlm files how it is implemented in case of python version of uvm and in the next video we will try to see the non blocking version of this so with this i hope you have understood the concept of uvm tlm files uh, in case of python version of uvm how how to define and how to uh, make a communication between producer and consumer and uh, also i hope you have enjoyed this so thanks for watching thank you